Hey guys and welcome back to this Chelsea FIFA 17 career mode. Before we jump into today's episode, I just want to say a huge thanks for your support on the first episode of the Co-op career mode over on Chesnoid Gaming's channel. I will um, link a little card at the top of the screen, so if you haven't seen it, make sure you go and check it out. It's hugely popular last time we did it and it seems to be just as popular again, so thank you for your support on that. Obviously when we record it, we do like four or five episodes at a time. Which is why I'm thanking you now and not in episode 2. Which, by the way, will go up on this channel on Sunday. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. But, back to this career mode. We've got some important games today. The first one, Champions League semi-final. Games don't come much bigger than that. We're away first against the French Giants PSG. Going to be a tough one, of course. But we prioritised the Champions League this year. We said that was our main focus. That's what we wanted to do. Won the Premier League last year. Our title defence has been shambolic. And it's our cup success that's keeping us in a job. So let's jump in away to PSG and try and grab ourselves an all-important away goal. It's a bit light, isn't it, for an evening game in Paris? I know, it's summertime and all that. This, well, we're, we're in April, aren't we? But surely it should be dark. Big day for this man, going back to face his former teammates. He could be key for us, protecting that defence with Kante. See if he can perform. PSG side is good. Kevin Trapp, obviously very good goalkeeper. They've got Manolas, Thiago Silva at the back. Very strong defence. But that front three is terrifying. Jesse Rodriguez, Edison Cavani, who always scores against Chelsea. And Angel Di Maria. I've put out what I believe to be our strongest 11 based on performances this season, which is heartbreaking for me because as a Chelsea fan, leaving John Terry out of a game that's this big is, is terrible. I feel so bad, but we've got a job to do today. Chance here for the cross to come in for PSG. No, they've given it straight to Azpilicueta, who's lost possession. That could be costly. Could be a chance here. Got to stop the cross. Haven't been able to do it. Shot comes in. Leno makes the save. It's a comfortable one in the end, but early warning signs. Trying to counter-attack here because they're throwing bodies forward, and it's Eden Hazard. They'll know all about him from, obviously, his time at Lille. Played against PSG several times. He's done very well here, and he's released Costa. Looks to go round the goalkeeper, and he's done it. What a start. Nine minutes into this game. Diego Costa, you legend. It was a clinical counter-attack. Hazard played a key role, really, but the finish was unreal. You always wonder when you try and go around the keeper, will they just dive on the ball? Are you better off getting the shot away? In this case, no. Costa finished this to perfection. PSG coming forward straight away. Cavani looking for an instant response. That's a lovely turn and a really good ball. Chance for them to get level. Leno, you hero. Good piece of goalkeeping. Here's Blaise Matuidi. Nice turn from him. We're under a bit of pressure here. Di Maria gets it onto his left foot before playing the ball out wide to Hesse. As Piliqueta gets his foot in and we win possession back. Can say what you're doing? I don't know and I don't care right now because Yannick Carrasco has got the wrong side of his man. Has he got the pace to get a shot away here? He's into the box. Could drill it to the far post. Hazard! <gasps> what an opportunity. I'll just put too much on it. Could have doubled our lead, could have got a second away goal. That is, That was worse than Harry Kane's penalty the other night. Plays it to Hazard, going to knock it backwards. Kante, need to be patient, need to not rush things. Costa, picks out Carrasco, could touch it on one more, but he decides to try and run inside. That's a bad idea. As Piliqueta will keep the attack alive, though. Verratti finds Costa, there's a man on the left. Why didn't I try and pick him out? Costa with a shot. Trap makes the save. Should have rolled Hazard in there, it would have been a great chance. Got a corner, though. It's going to be whipped in. It's a good corner! Varan looked easier to score than miss. How has he not at least got that on target? It was a free header. I'm sure of it. I think, oh, he got in Draxler's way. Or Draxler got in his way. Nightmare. Matuidi touches the ball on. Oh, Cavani. Oh, it's a tidy finish. It's what he does, isn't it? Edison Cavani. I said he always scores against Chelsea. He's had one chance today and he's finished it like an absolute boss. It's a sign of a good striker. It was sloppy here in the midfield. Look. It's quick football, though, to be fair. Leno will be disappointed, maybe? I'm not sure. Gaia. We're into first half stoppage time, and we're not going to have a chance to create another opportunity. 1 1 at the break. It's been an open game. Lots of chances for both sides, to be fair. Disappointing to concede in the way we did five minutes before the break, but I'm happy with the first half display. PSG coming forward. Kazawa. Lovely football. Hesse Rodriguez now on the left hand side. Cuts backwards. Gets the ball back, Hesse. They're, they're passing it so quick, I can't even commentate. Angel Di Maria has laid it off. What on earth is going on here? I was like, Leno, pick it up. Leno, pick it up. He didn't. And then I tried to clear it and ended up sliding. How we've got away with that, I don't know. They should have scored their PSG. Should be 2-1 up. Matuidi finds Cavani. He's dropping very deep to get the ball in this game. Oh, cheeky nutmeg, though, on Kante. See you later, mate. 
Cavani comes forward. I don't want to dive in. I don't want to let them have space in behind either. It's Krakowiak. Is he going to shoot? Oh, it's a nice turn. Pesce, Krakow... Oh, what football. Unbelievable football from PSG. So close to taking the lead. Verratti finds Carrasco into Costa. Looking to hold it up, which is easier said than done when the defender in your back is Thiago Silva. Carrasco, Verratti. Costa could be in. What a challenge that is. We'll keep the attack alive, though. Kante. On to Draxler. First time ball through to Costa. First time hit. Diego Costa. Back in front. What a finish. What a move. What a man, by the way. Unbelievable stuff. Kante on to Draxler. That first time pass. Unbelievable. And the finish. So accurate. The Tweedy turns. Good ball. PSG coming forward. Krakowiak finds Klassen. Krakowiak. Cavani. Varane in the nick of time. Kante holds it up. Here is Carrasco. He's got runners ahead of him. Another away goal would be absolutely beautiful. Hazard touches it inside. Verratti. He scooped it over. What a chance. We are so good on the counter-attack. We look so dangerous. We've just got to take some of these chances. It's a beautiful cushioned header. That's unlucky, to be fair. Just couldn't get over the ball. PSG have made a sub. And look who's come on. Cesc Fabregas, our former friend. He's given the ball away, though. Maybe he thinks he's still a Chelsea player. We could punish PSG here. It's Draxler. Hasn't really got the pace. But Costa takes over, looks to find Kante, wants it on his right foot, might lay it off, has done, Verratti, touch. <gasps> that was it, that was, oh, I've put... Ugh. I didn't even put that much on it. He's just got right underneath it again. I only got myself to blame if we if we don't come away from here with a win. I only got myself to blame. Poor finishing. With one possession back. PSG are pushing everybody forward, which in a tie over two legs is very dangerous because another way goal could be highly significant. I am slightly concerned that Diego Costa is laying on the floor at the other end of the pitch, and I'm even more concerned that Cavani and PSG are coming forward. What a hit. Leno there, I th thought he'd uh, spilt that for a second, and that PSG might have a chance on the rebound, but he managed to gather it. Carrasco, Costa looks okay, even though he is carrying a slight knock. Could be in behind here, though. Could be a hat-trick for Diego. Can he finish? He's not okay. He's not okay. How am I missing these chances? Surely that's time, ref. There we go. Thank you. 2-1 victory, massive result away from home against PSG. Taking that back to the bridge, I've got every confidence now in the boys to take us through to the final, but I'm still slightly disappointed because it could have been a lot more. Could have scored three, maybe four in that second half. We created a lot of opportunities, but we wasted them. So we've gone from the dizzy heights of a Champions League semi-final back to a Premier League mid-table clash. But to be honest, I think the fact that we're mid-table has given us an advantage in Europe because we can rest players. We're in between the two legs of the PSG game, so I've made a host of changes. But it just means we can really make sure we go into them European games fresh. And we need to because we're playing against some big boys. But we are one game away from the final. This is not my priority. It's just a case of getting as many points as we can to make sure we don't get sacked, really. Let's have a look at the Swansea side. Gilfie Sigurdsson, Jefferson Montero, probably the main threats. They've got Borja Baston up front. Key and Leon Britton are actually decent footballers in the midfield and they could be creative and make some chances for Swansea. I said I'd made a lot of changes. We've made 11, to be honest. Nobody that played in the PSG game is starting today. They are all playing to try and impress me to win a place in the starting 11. Hugo Mayo in possession. What a pass that is on his weaker left foot. Willian knocks it down. Antoine Griezmann waits for support. Lewis Baker. Oh, it's actually Pedro. Oh, Pedro. Just a whisker away from the top corner there. Good effort. Here is Jefferson Montero for Swansea who come forward off the back of that. Key. I've been blocked off. JT's been blocked off off the ball there. They've moved the ball out to Dyer. We might get the cross in. Alonso's been skinned. Luckily, though, the cross was completely shanked. That was disappointing. Good opportunity for the home side there. Here's Tabanu. Chance to put the ball into the danger area. He's done that. John Terry, though, rises above the strikers and manages to head the ball clear. And we can counter-attack here. Baker finds Griezmann, who is rapid. Waits for Pedro to make a decent run ahead of him, which he has done. Pedro skips past the defender as if he's not even there. Might try and finish it. Instead, cuts inside on his right foot. It's a great block. Britain's there. Pedro dives in and Fabianski gathers the loose ball. First real opportunity that we've made in this game. Oh, Norton's showing some good pace here. Gets past... Oh, I said he's showing good pace. He's just skipped past JT. This boy, a Baston, plays it over. Why didn't he shoot? Great touch from Montero, but the chance had gone. Could have rolled that into an almost empty net. We haven't got the ball clear, though. Dyer will pick it up. Willian doing his defensive duties badly. Ball goes out to Key. Montero. Swansea being patient in their build-up. They're not rushing things. Here's Key. Might lay this off. Has done to Britain. We're diving in. 
Free kick, no. Advantage, key. Baston, JT with the block. And eventually, we get the ball away. Kind of. Dyer comes straight back at us. Gilfie Sigerson, do not want to let him shoot. Don't want to let him do that either. Here's Boya Baston. Great save, Donnarumma. We're getting in each other's way. And we eventually do clear it. Trying to pass the ball out from the back. And it was costly almost. A couple of times that's happened in recent weeks. Pedro's being booked for an earlier challenge too. Blech. Oh, Gilfie Sigurdsson linking up nicely with Montero. He's been chased by Willian. Montero cuts back. Tabanu, Sigurdsson onto Britain. Nice one-touch stuff. Boya Baston trying to turn his man. Christensen not having it, but the ball ricochets back to him. And John Terry throws himself in the way of the shot. Top, top defending from the, uh, the old veteran. Britain into the box. Don't want to foul him. Alonso gets the ball away, but runs straight into Baker. That's happened a few times today. We've got in each other's way. Is Britain going to shoot? No, Sigurdsson is on the turn. And that wasn't far away. Alonso looks up, looks for Griezmann. Not going to get there with that. Oh, he might do because there's a mistake at the back. And Griezmann tucks it home. Wow. That is cruel on Swansea City. But Griezmann don't care. Let's give it a little jiggy. I said it about Cavani. But when you get one chance and you finish it, it's a sign of a world-class striker. And Griezmann is that at the moment. Very unlucky not to be involved in the Champions League game, to be fair. But he's done the business here. Swansea nil, Chelsea won. So the referee brings the first half to a close. And to be honest, I'm relieved not to go in behind, let alone be 1-0 up. Swansea by far the better side. You might expect that with 11 changes being made. But we go in 1-0 up somehow. Sigurdsson, Baston, Sigurdsson. Nice one touch. Oh my God, it's like ping pong in there. What on earth is going on here? Somebody put a challenge in, please. Still knocking it around, Swansea. JT's had enough. He's not going to catch Montero though. So instead, we'll just knock him out. Brilliant. Hopefully nothing comes of this set piece. They've gone short anyway. Surprise, surprise. Oh, Tabanu, chance to turn and shoot. And he does. And it's about that far, precisely, over the crossbar. Swansea coming forward again. Gilfie Sigurdsson, the wrong side of Chalabat. Looks to play a 1-2 with Raul. Surely that's not the Raul. Sigurdsson skips inside. Oh, it's a good effort. Donna Rummer gets down well to turn it behind. Here is Montero. Plays it to the edge of the box where Bartley is the man there. Not known for shooting ability, but I'm not going to... Oh, my God. What a piece of skill that was. It might as well be the Real, I'll tell you. The old Real Madrid legend would have been proud of that himself. What a touch. That is unbelievable. Could save Donnarumma. They've done it short again. Here's Bartley. Out to Montero. Skips past Chalaba. We are struggling here to contain Swansea. Oh, what are we doing? Good save again. He is staking a claim for a first-team place. I tell you, we're fortunate to have two very, very good goalkeepers. There's a replay of that Raul opportunity. Here is Tabanu into the box. Twisting, turning. I think we're going to get it clear. JT heads it up in the air. Tabanu's going divvy on the floor. What are you doing, bruv? I have no idea. Here is Chalaba. Looks to set Griezmann away. It's a lovely ball. And he's quick, Griezmann. And he's beating his man. He could seal the win here for us. Antoine Griezmann. Little dink. Oh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. This guy, two chances, two goals. It's exactly what we need. Let's celebrate in front of those home fans as well. Not a wise idea, my son. It's just clinical. That's that's the only difference between the two sides. We've taken our chances. That was a lovely little dink, but in all fairness, we should be behind. Willian, Loftus Cheek. Oh, what a pass. What vision from the young man. Lewis Baker. Griezmann's inside on a hat trick. Not the best ball, but chest and volley. Nah, 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 nah. Terrible. Leon Britton, Swansea chucking everyone forward now. Raul with a great ball. Donnarumma wants that clean sheet. I knew he was going to do something drastic. He always does. And he's just thrown himself at it. Really brave goalkeeping. And a really top save, to be honest. Referee brings this game to a close. Very harsh on Swansea. They played really, really well. Dominated possession chances. But this man scored the goals. That's the difference between the two sides. We had a striker... That could finish. And Griezmann, two chances, two goals. We've got all three points. Bit of a smash and grab, but we'll go into that second leg against PSG. High off the back of that. Full of confidence. So we'll leave this episode here for now. Coming next is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. At home to PSG we will be. So confident of getting through. But still, going to be a tough task. Looking at the other semi though, Juventus beat Barca 2-1. So they'll be confident of progressing through themselves and meeting us in the final where we can play for the holy grail of club football. The the competition that everybody wants to win. Different story domestically though. We're down in seventh, although we have got a game in hand on a few teams and could even end up in the top four somehow if we win our last two remaining games. It's United now leading the way. Spurs are second. Palace, who led the way for so long, 
have gone down into third place. But they'll be happy. They've secured Champions League football, basically. City are fourth. Arsenal in fifth. West Ham sitting just above us. Brighton, two wins still. Just the two wins. Hull aren't doing much better either. They've only got four, but they're down. Brighton are down. Everton are on the brink of going down. That would be a huge shock. Norwich, who we play in the FA Cup final at the end of the season, are down in 17th fighting for their life. Hopefully their, their mind and focus will be on survival rather than the Cup final to give us a bit of a boost. But thanks for watching, guys. Again, thank you so much for your support in the co-op series. Thanks to everybody that subscribed. If you haven't done so, make sure you hit that button. Drop a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this episode, and we will see you next time.